Kelly McKernan with us here on the John and Dola Show. We're talking Wyoming area field hockey. Um, senior year, we already know, we've talked about this, Michigan State, right? The girls that are doing stuff at Michigan State from our area, they're doing good stuff. So you have a lot to look forward to, and I'm sure that's kind of always like in the back of your mind. Like, yeah. hey, I can't wait for that yeah. part. Yeah. Um, but there's still a lot of stuff to be done in your senior season. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk right first about field hockey because uh, you're undefeated, you're playing well, a lot of good teams, but again, just that one team goes through. So talk yeah. about you feel like you're in the right spot right now. Yeah, I think we are. We just have to keep our heads up and like um, just keep not get ahead of ourselves and keep playing hard. How do you do that? You know, like you're a senior, so you got to be a good leader and there's six seniors. So talk a little bit about just trying to lay that foundation, but people have laid that foundation ahead of you. So talk yeah. about continuing that. Yeah. Um, Obviously, like being a senior, like everyone like is looking up to you now, so you have to like be a leader and like keep the team in line and keep like keep us positive and everything. Coach Bednarski, she was Michigan. Yeah. She's allowing you girls to go to Michigan State, <laughs> which is kind of cute. But talk a little bit about her support, and what she does to you know your teammates to try to hey, that's the place you want to be. You know, you go there. You make a name for yourself, find an area that yeah. you're going to study, and go have fun. Mm -hmm. She's great, and she's so positive throughout, like, everything. Family, you know, I know they're very supportive and, and you know, do everything they can for you. But talk about the continued support, because I'm sure you're trying to still pinch yourself and saying, you know, mm -hmm. this, is, this is great. I'm so lucky. Yeah, I am so lucky, and it's flying by. But you work your tail off that people don't see that part of you. <laughs> talk a little bit about, you know, you're not just practicing on the high school, you're doing stuff on your own. Talk about that extra work you put in. Yeah, um, so it's not just field hockey. Like, I just started swim in the off season too to like keep me in shape in the winter and obviously track too, which keeps me in really good shape. That track season of yours, the way you came on in that 300, <laughs> uh, it's just ridiculous. Thank uh, you. The competition was so good, but talk a little bit about just, you know, finding a way to get that done and just states and all that stuff mm -hmm. it was just it was grit and yeah it was hard but i did it <laughs> find a way to describe getting at another level of shape because the 300s are a brutal race but you seem like you found a way of like crossing over you know the 800 the 300 the mile like you had the sprint you had the endurance you had the grit you had everything <laughs> put into that race describe just all the different training you were able to do to kind of put it into that type of event, which is brutal. Mm -hmm. So like I sprinting, I get like from field hockey. So I have like the short sprints and I also do the 400 sometimes. And then 800 really helps for the endurance part. Now, I bet you'll want to look forward to spring already because there's a whole lot of field mm -hmm. hockey to go. But is that in the back of your mind of, you know, leaving your mark when the spring comes? Yeah. But I'm trying to focus on the season too. But Let's yeah. talk about this team. This team is capable of winning a state championship. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. But you got to get through your district first. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the tough competition that you will face for the rest of the regular season. Then when the playoff comes, you know it's still going to be, hey, one game you could be out. Yeah. So, yeah, like last year we had one game and we got a little bit ahead of ourselves and we were out. So, um, and all the competition is still really tough. So we just want to keep our heads up and keep working hard and know that it's going to be hard. You have some games that are 8 nothing. You might have a 3-1 game. Talk about, you know, trying to hold it together where the offense is still scoring, but the defense is doing their job too. Yeah, we just have to, we like prepare ourselves for the game. Like whether we know it's going to be like a more defensive game or offensive game, we just like prepare ourselves and like to like, Try to know what's going to happen. You think about the opportunities for young ladies here in northeastern Pennsylvania for field hockey and how, you know, you're going to get an education, you're going to play at a high level. You kind of take a step back and think, boy, we're, we're pretty lucky girls. Yeah, we're so lucky and, like, we have the best team ever and we're all, like, so close. Having a young, enthusiastic coach, again, who's so positive, as you had mentioned, about mm -hmm. Coach Bendarski, talk a little bit about the culture there at Wyoming area and how you think it's going to stay this way for some time. Yeah, we have great culture, and I, like, I think it expires, inspires everybody to like, keep wanting to join WA Field Hockey and just keep the culture going. Well, I know you're still working on making your mark and raising the level there at Wyoming area, and we wish you the best the rest of the way. Thank you.